Assalamu alaikum. I'm still here. This episode is dedicated for my friends all over the world as they are celebrating today Eid. So happy Eid for all Muslim friends. And I'm come up with a very popular dish that's called dumb chicken biryani, which is celebrated, which is made all over the world. So guys, please as try this recipe and let me know in my comment section. Till then, let's see my still speech. We have half kg of chicken and half kg of soaked rice over here. I'm going to cook rice separately. Always whenever you make chicken biryani or mutton biryani, the ratio has to be 1 raise to 1. That means 1 kilo chicken or mutton has to be 1 kilo rice. If you have half kilo chicken, it has to be half kilo rice. Or half kilo mutton has to be half kilo rice. So the ratio is 1 raise to 1. So here I have half kilo chicken, leg and thigh and breast. Okay. I already put the salt. One teaspoon of salt I already put. Now, one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Half teaspoon of turmeric. One half lemon juice, two tablespoon of garam masala. Now you can use MDH, Everest, or uh, uh, Kitchen King masala, whatever. Here I am using MDH garam masala, or you can use your homemade masala also. Then I am putting little bit spice, okay. I am putting some mace, then star anise and one bay leaf. Then I have yogurt, I am putting two teaspoon of yogurt. I have this fried onion, so I am going to put half of it inside and half I am going to keep for Decorating the rice, small amount of cilantro, the rest cilantro I am going to use for decorating the rice. Now, let's marinate the chicken and before we put, we will put little oil, before we will put, we will put little 2 tablespoon of oil in the chicken. 2 tablespoon of oil in the chicken. As I said, I already put the salt. Let's marinate like this and keep for at least half an hour to one hour in the refrigerator. Rice. This time I am going to make the rice in the pressure cooker. Okay. I have taken half kg of rice, washed thoroughly and soaked for half an hour. Now we will drain this water before it goes in the pressure cooker. Rice already drained the water. We will make the rice in the cooker as I said. Now that is half kilo rice that means 3 wati. 3, uh, three cups of rice. For 3 cups of rice you have to put 6 cups of water. Now this water I am making hot over here separate. Okay, That I am going to add in the pressure cooker. I am making the rice in the cooker. We can make the rice outside also, like how normal how we do. Put the water, put salt, put little oil, put some khada masala, whole spices in that, and put little lemon juice when you're making basmati rice outside. But now, since I'm making this rice inside, I'm going to say in the pressure cooker. So this I'm making more or less like pulao. Okay. So I've tried this recipe, guys, and really it was awesome, and I have many requests because everybody, most of my friends, family, everybody have tasted the biryani and they said, Cyril, please do the biryani, the one which you had shown us, the one which you ate. I said, okay, let me try. That's why I decided to show, share this recipe with you. So same thing, please guys, when you see, please do share this recipe. So now I put three chamach of desi ghee, that, that is uh, pure ghee okay put a bay leaf two piece of bay leaf then put little star anise put one cinnamon stick 
पुट ब्लैक पेपर थ्री फोर पुट वन बड़ा इलायची वन क्लोव्स पुट फोर पीस एंड शाही जीरा पुट हाफ टी स्पून हाफ टी स्पून ऑफ शाही जीरा नाउ दिस विल गिव एन एंस द अरोमा इन द बिरयानी मेन यू मेक ओके तो स्लाइटली सॉफ्ट एक दोन बन एड योर राइस टू इट नाउ दिस एवरीथिंग यू डू ऑन द हाई फ्लेम ओके मेक श्योर योर गैस इज ऑन हाई मोड एड सॉल्ट वन टी स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट just stir it for 2 to 3 minutes not more water is boiled with the rice for 3 minutes now let's put hot water as i said if you put 3 cups of rice 6 cups of water okay make sure the water is hot stir check if you need more salt in the rice you can put i put another half teaspoon of salt stir it put the pressure cooker on remove two whistles okay two whistles and turn off the gas so let's wait and then we start with the chicken procedure as our rice is getting cooked we'll start with the chicken now okay it add 2 tablespoon of oil in that add little ghee 1 tablespoon of ghee now put whole khada masala that means bay leaves cardamom whole big cardamom shahi jeera mace black pepper and cloves this is called whole garam masala saute for a while then you put little onion slice saute for Three four minutes till it become nice light brown in color. Yeah. This is the second city. This is the onion cooking over here. Now turn off the gas of the rice cooker rice. Turn off the gas. After ten minutes, we'll open it and then we'll see the rice. After ten to fifteen minutes, let it cool down. Onion is getting brown over here. We can see the flavor aroma how it's coming. Now this, as I said, I'm making chicken dum biryani. Okay, but I'm cooking the rice in the pressure cooker, and guys, really it turned out very well, very nice. And I've been doing this for a long time, so people have requested me to show this biryani to you. So guys, please do try and write me in the comment box. Nicely caramelized. Now. put chicken pieces marinated chicken pieces inside and but this has to be done on a high flame make sure your gas is on high and stop it Put only this much of water, okay? Because I just washed the vessel. And if you want, then we'll see later stages. Because as the chicken will leave the water, let it cook. Now we we'll put little red chili powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder. 
वन टी स्पून ऑफ गरम मसाला गरम मसाला पाउडर हाफ टी स्पून ऑफ नॉट टू मच लिटिल टर्मरिक वन टी स्पून ऑफ चॉप सिलांथ्रो टी स्पून ऑफ चॉप मिंट थ्री फोर मिनिट्स एंड देन विल एड लिटिल कर्ड इन साइड सॉफे द चिकन विद स्पाइस नाउ एड टोमेटो टू पीसेज ऑफ स्लाइस टोमेटो नाउ द इनग्रीडियंट्स आर लिस्टेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स लाइस so before making just go through the ingredients and the method and the process is shown here live so you can watch the video and do it accordingly but don't forget as i said you have to do this on a high flame make sure gas is high that doesn't mean you burn the chicken in between just keep on stirring the chicken and check how it is cooking while in process now we will reduce the gas to medium low and cover for 10 minutes okay now we will re reduce the gas for medium low and cover the chicken for 10 minutes and when it's ready let's check if our chicken is done wow nice now we can make the gas high flame from medium to low make it little bit high now in this we have to add potato if you want you can add potato i have cut the potato one potato and then i have deep fried along with the onion when i was doing onion i deep fried the potato okay this is one medium potato cut into small cubes deep fry at the time of frying the onion now you can put that so i love potato it gives nice taste so let it cook for another 5 more minutes chicken is almost done check the salt same process add this yogurt 2 teaspoon of beet yogurt take the yogurt and beat okay 2 teaspoon stir now let it cook for another at least 5 minutes let's open and check wow nice chicken is ready time to dish out the biryani now chicken is cooked Let's open the cooker. Remove the excess pressure from the cooker. Let's check our rice. Wow! You see, our rice is done. Let's take out in. Cool the rice before we set the biryani. Okay, I have just changed the plate because that was looking getting smaller, so I put in the big uh, tray. Okay, let it cool down a little bit. you see the rice how fluffy and so nice for biryani main thing is rice okay when you cook the rice outside you cook the rice three fourth because then you put for dum but now here i have removed only two city okay then i'll put for dum for 10 to 15 minutes not more then i will turn the gas off and then let it let the lid close for at least 1 hour and after 1 hour then you consume the 
with any don't consume same time okay because the aroma the steam and everything will infuse inside and when you open it you'll get nice good aroma so when the biryani is ready always remember don't open straight away let it cool let not cool let it become let it stay inside for one hour at least with the lid okay okay rice is ready add little chopped mint chopped coriander little brown onion in the rice and slowly mix it don't break the rice now let's assemble the biryani okay put little rice not too much little rice at the bottom and then we put the chicken pieces you see the chicken well cooked arrange the chicken nicely i can get the flavor of the onions let's put let's cover the chicken with the rice Now, as I said, this is dum biryani. We are going to give dum for this only for 10 to 15 minutes. 15 minutes should be enough on slow heat. We'll put a griddle or a tawa on the under the on the gas, and we'll put this on top. I have the coal over here. Okay, we are going to put that coal for dum. We will put little ghee and then we will put inside. I will show you that. The coal then also is okay. It is not necessary compulsory ki coal hona chahi me khali. Extra additional flavor ke le. I am doing all this thing. Agar if you don't have then it is okay. But anyway we are going to give it dum. So just for additional flavor. Let's put a griddle. Tawa. On top of that, we'll keep our biryani. Okay. Now my gas is slow. Okay. Don't make the gas on high. Keep it slow for 15 minutes. Now let's let's finish the biryani. We put a. Uh, I have this saffron mixed in warm milk. So just put on top of this rice. This is a pinch of saffron. Put little onion, leftover remaining onion, little chopped cilantro, little mint, chopped mint, then two teaspoon of desi ghee. Okay, we have to put dum, so I needed some dough, wheat dough, okay, chapati dough, and then just put on top of this. Vessel. Now, this is the magic coal. Put this inside. Make a small well. Keep the wati. Put this coal. If you have, you do it. If you don't have, no need to bother. Okay. And put little stoop on top. Take the cover and close. Close the lid. Okay. Just tag the this with the. Okay, slow gas for 15 minutes, 
turn off the gas don't open the lid for at least my suggestion my experience for at least one hour after one hour we'll open and we'll do the final presentation biryani is ready you see this the coating has become dry now let's open it with the help of the knife one hour already passed i had shut off the gas after 15 minutes then i kept for one hour 45 minutes more as i told you before now let's remove wow that's really that's really awesome the smell of the coal but as i said it's optional if you want you can do it let's remove this let's remove this out before we portion it out let's do the plating see the aroma see the masala spices coated to the chicken less oily guys please try this recipe and do let me know and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and please share this to your friends and families and i hope you enjoyed this recipe and as i said this recipe is dedicated for my all muslim friends all over the world happy eat enjoy dum chicken biryani bye bye